Hi everyone, you alright? It's Alan here once again. Sorry, uh, no video today. Uh, well, no real video really. Um, yeah. Well, went bass well the other day. Um, yeah, place was an absolute total mess. Um, a lot of people have been saying to me that uh, the situation in Baswell's got even worse uh, since the last time I filmed it, which is very, um, I can put it, disheartening um, because... You know, there's rubbish all over the place, and it, the place doesn't look good at all. Um, Blackburn, Darwin Council have been, have been round, but they need to pay that place, um, a bit more attention, because of the amount of litter that's being left behind. Yes, the street cleaners have been out to clean uh, to clean up some of the some of the uh, rubbish, but it still hasn't all gone um, because people like overnight people just come along and just dump stuff. Um, wants to get rid of one lot uh, another lot appears in the same area and uh, they fill they refill the area and it's base, and it basically looks like the council have done nothing due to the amount of uh, rubbish that is dumped there um, there are quite a few hot spots in Blackburn which are like the and I'm sorry to say this they are all in Asian areas um, they basically well they basically do not really um, I'm sorry to if we've been so, I'm sorry to say that they don't give a damn about how their area looks aesthetically and um, it's really disappointing f to see areas like that you know go that way and really the council should be um, going after these people a bit more um, yes they do send council workers out to clear the place up but uh, I reckon it's got to the point now that more stringent action needs to be taken um, as I said there's quite a lot of areas within the borough that are, shall we say, uh, grot, grot spots. And since the pandemic, uh, I have noticed a difference around the town that this problem is growing uh, more uh, profusely, that, that the council is... Uh, basically not admitting to because of the amount of rubbish round the town um, yeah they really need need to pick the pick the ball up off the floor because they've dropped it and they really do need to um, 
you know, get their act together. Because if they don't, people won't want to live here, you know. They've been talking about new housing estates and stuff like that. But if your area is going to be full of, you know, full of crap, full of crap and people dumping rubbish there, well, you won't want to live there, would you? Because it looks so ghetto. There are quite a lot of areas in Blackburn that just look like ghettos. They look like third world countries, you know. Um, you know, rubbish dumped everywhere. And it doesn't really look good at all. Um, also, whilst I'm on, I'd like to give a big massive shout out to uh, Beyond the Edge uh, and... Uh, a walk on the wild side, PT blogs, vlogs, uh, visit Foul Coast. I haven't seen much of uh, Lyca of late. I hope she's okay. Um, who else? Yeah, um, Helen's crowd, loud and proud. Um, they did a good video today. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Fifty million pound hotel for Blackpool. Um, also, um, the new. Well, they're going to have to put uh, some new track down for. Uh, I think it's the promenade because. I think the sea's been corroding the track again. And uh, that's getting done. Um, and there are major projects coming into Blackpool now. Especially the Cluxon Street area. Um, yeah. But who's going to move... Who's going to move their company to Blackpool? I know Prudential has... A small presence there on the top floor of Prudential House. Or has Prudential moved out? Because they were one of the big insur insurance companies in Blackpool. And there were one or two others. Um, w of which uh, I've been hearing that, that they moved out. A lot of them moved to the Manchester area. Um at King on King Street, Manchester. But I've also been hearing that a lot of them have moved elsewhere. Um, I don't really know. So I'm going to have to, when when this situation uh, picks up again, you know, when it goes away, um, I'm going to most probably play in Manchester and one or two other places, you know, we're going, to go, we're going to go back visiting these places to see what sort of scars uh, have been left behind since this pandemic, see if, uh, see if them have got any, see if them have, any of them have got rougher or if they've, or, or if they've uh, managed to, uh, you know, tidy themselves up and, bit more than what they used to be well we're going to see we're going to find out sooner or later uh, I heard from my friend Jennifer um, due to the situation she can't come out so um, we'll just have to take it very slowly Um when this uh, situation disappears, well, when it goes. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, the, Scot the people of Scotland are not very happy at the moment. 
they're really, really rather ticked. <clears throat> because they can't have their annual holiday. Annual holidays. Um, especially a Scottish fortnight in Blackpool. Uh, the Scottish do come, when they do come down, they uh, spend a hell of a lot of money in the pubs in the pubs and bars and everything of, and in a lot of the attractions in the Blackpool, Blackpool area. So that's going to be missed. And uh, to be truthful, they're a bit nift. They're a bit nift. Well, we're being we're being stopped from, you know, enjoying ourselves. Well, well, guys, if you really, really need to go some somewhere, you're really desperate to go somewhere. Um, check out M and D's. Um, that's quite a good amusement park. I don't know what it's like now because it's under new management. So yeah, that's one. That's one of uh, uh, Scotland's best theme parks that there is. Because there are, I, don't, I don't think there are any more theme parks in Scotland except for M and D's. <coughs> but I might be wrong there. Well, I'm gonna bugger off now. Because it's just getting up for midnight now. <coughs> and I'm coughing my head off. Um, yeah. So it's bye for now. Three, two, one. Click.